Hey everybody, I'm Tim here with a bold smoke down and you're watching Cigars Daily. I want to invite you to get more out of this and all our videos now when you watch them on CigarsDailyPlus.com because we're always working to make it better on Cigars Daily Plus. In today's video, we're going to take two bold broadleaf blends and go head to head to see which one can truly provide more value. But I'll tell you guys up front, what you'll get in this video is just my opinion. So I'll encourage you, if you've had Foundation's Tabernacle or the Tabernacle David or Goliath, drop a comment down below and let everybody know what you think about them. In the cigar world, there's only one dude who's known for having a semi-creepy love affair with tobacco, and that is Nick Melillo, the owner of Foundation Cigars. And during his time in the industry, he's racked up some amazing accolades. Like, he was the director of tobacco for Drew Estate for a period of time, during which he also blended Liga Pravada cigars. A pretty cool standalone fact. But today, he focuses on his brand Foundation, where he pursues his passion for one of his favorite leafs and that is the USA grown Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. This is a wrapper leaf that used to not be suitable for wrapper. It used to just be used for binder or filler and now this very rugged very dark leaf gets used as wrapper in increasing amounts and Nick never shies away from using it in his blends even though it's not all that easy to get your hands on. So today I want to take his cigar the Tabernacle broadleaf and put it up against a newer release the Tabernacle David, which is the same blend, although in a, a perfecto shape or a figurato, if you want to call it that. One of the most amazing things about cigars is the way that do like smoking these changes the flavor entirely when you go from one size to another, unless the blender is very intentional about blending each size for its specific flavor profile. So today I want to see which of these two sticks can really provide more value. So with no further ado, let's jump right in. The first blend in today's Smokedown is the original Tabernacle. Like I said, it uses a USA Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper and that over a Mexican San Andreas binder. Inside, the fillers come from Esteli, Nicaragua and Jalapa, Nicaragua, and there's filler leaves from the Hamastran Valley of Honduras as well. It's a very cigar geeky blend if ever there was one. And this 5x50 Robusto comes in in just like $10 or $10.45 it's really not the most affordable stick in the world, but also Nick Melillo doesn't really like beat around the bush when it comes to using the best leaf he can get his hands on. So it's touted as a higher end cigar and certainly as one over a lot of cigar smokers today, but it's got its own competition in the David. This 5x54 Perfecto size called the David is a totally different take on the same blend. The same leaves from the same area, wrapper, binder, and filler that are rolled just a little bit differently. It gives it that figurato shape where it tapers at the top, sort of bulbous at the end before pinching down into a small little, I don't know, nipple? I'm not sure what to call it. Maybe a cigar maker can help me out there. But this is really one of the things that people are criming all over these days, even though the same blend in this 5x54 is $12 a stick. This seems to be the one people are grabbing hand over fist. But what I want to find out today is which one of these two sticks will really give you the better overall smoking experience. So we're going to take this through three different rounds. We'll look at presentation, we'll look at construction, and then the unholy grail of good cigar experience, and that is flavor. So let's jump into round number one. When it comes to the wrapper leaf on these two, I gotta say, I'm sort of surprised to see a difference between them because it's the same blend, but the Robusto size here has got, I don't know, it's a little more rugged of an appearance. The cigar's leaf has actually got more wrinkles on it. It's a little bit more uneven over the surface of it and even has some splotches. No like real bruising on this, no break in the leaf or anything like that. So it's in good condition, but certainly the David pulls ahead here. This has got a smoother, more oily looking leaf, even over this interesting size. This is the size where I would expect to be seeing probably some more bruises or even imperfections in the leaf. But overall on wrapper leaf, David takes it. And then there's the cap. 
And this is one I have a really hard time judging between these two. The Robusto size has got a beautiful double cap on it. And then the Perfecto has got a traditional sort of torpedo cap on it that definitely to me seems like it's actually executed a little bit better, even on this more complex size where in most cigar factories, they'll only have a handful of people that can even roll a cigar of this shape and size. But this one seems to be put on incredibly well, a very smoothly applied cap. At the same time, the band on these and this one comes with like no questions for me the David carries that secondary band and just the, this really amazing legacy feel for a cigar that the tabernacle also has just in a little bit more simplified of a manner so when it comes to presentation wrapper cap and the actual bands are all won by the David, so there's a lot more work now for the tabernacle robusto to do to catch up let's jump on to construction Now it's time to look at the critical foundation to any great cigar, and that's construction. Here we'll look at the burn, the ash, and the draw. And we'll start with the ash, because that one's most evident. I lit both of these up and just sort of puffed off one and then the other to see which would drop its ash first, and the Robusto size did. After about an inch, the thing fell right off, fortunately, into an ashtray, which is amazing and never happens to me. But the David still holds its original ash, which is impressive, especially for a figurato size like this or a perfecto size as you might call it this thing is definitely holding a stronger ash but when it comes to the burn and draw it didn't do as well certainly this thing won every point for presentation it looked good but the construction and performance here hasn't really held up to its looks as much as the draw on this cigar is just tighter than it is on the robusto size now it came with that sort of bulbous tip on it and that will almost always give you a tighter draw after a cut but as you smoke into like the bigger bulbous end, it should open up the draw completely. Even now, as I'm into the full like diameter of the David, I'm still getting a little bit tighter of a draw than I'm getting off the Robusto size. So the Robusto size wins when it comes to draw. And then there's that pesky issue of burn, something that can just nag at you as you try to enjoy a stick. And with these two, right now they're burning pretty evenly, but I will say that David did give me some trouble with this. And I got to remove this secondary band before I burn it, but this is where I actually had to touch this thing up. It really gave me some nice flavor, but then I noticed that flavor start to go away as it really was burning more on one side than it was on the other. So I touched up that burn and now we're cruising again. But overall, I would say when it comes to burn, I've had to give a lot less love and attention to the Robusto size. And when it comes to that construction key factor, the Robusto size takes it two to one. That's an interesting turnover from presentation, but the next one is the one we all really care about, and that's flavor. And now we get down to that nitty gritty where flavor is the biggest thing, where certainly presentation plays into it. Construction is critical, but without flavor, you don't have anything. And this being the exact same blend with two different sizes, I was amazed at how like different the experience was between these two cigars. So much about construction has impacted flavor at this point. And I'll take you through each of the three points. We're gonna look at complexity, consistency, and wrapper sweetness because it's such a big, important one, for, especially for like a dark broadleaf cigar like these two are. But first of all, let's talk about complexity. Both of these carry a similar level of complexity, the flavor profile being very similar. And what I get out of these is varying amounts of the flavor notes, but what you can taste here is really dark chocolate, leather, black coffee, like the darkest, boldest flavor notes that you can get out of a cigar. But in the consistency, that's where it really sort of differentiated these two. You see, the David here was definitely a little tighter draw through and through. And because of that, I actually felt like I got less flavor from it. It was more work to create draw, and I got a little bit less with each puff. Certainly with the uh, Robusto size, I got so much more flavor through an open draw that I was able to get a hold a lot of those flavor notes in much better balance. And so I don't know if it's the way fillers were rolled in this or just the fact that the draw was a little easier, but I definitely got a better flavor in terms of complexity out of the Robusto size. And I think the fact that the burn was an issue on the David played into that as well. I had to touch it up again and got a really bad burn in the second third and so i think that probably cost it a little bit too and then wrapper sweetness now 
Both of these have that same USA grown Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, but on the Robusto size, I really got a nice sweetness coming through. In addition to full strength, really dark notes, this very smooth sweetness uh, sort of hangs out with the rest of the flavor, and I just didn't get it that much on the David size. This thing for sure, dark, really rich in flavor, but just didn't quite produce what the Robusto size did. So when when it comes to flavor, actually the Robusto won out. And this is for me a really cool upset to see. The David won out completely on presentation in every field. On construction, the Robusto won it by one point and then the Robusto takes it by storm for experience. It's just one of those reasons that you can't judge a book by its cover. You gotta sort of make the decision for yourself as you th smoke through different cigars, what's gonna be best for you. And again, what we really care about here is what you guys think about these. So if you've had the Tabernacle in any size, or the new David or Goliath, please drop a comment down below and let everybody know what you think about it because we'll all learn better when we learn together. And check this video out on CigarsDailyPlus.com because we're always working to make it better on Cigars Daily Plus. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily and I will see you in the comments.